Welcome to the IV and Medication Skill Station. These skills are designed to evaluate your ability to establish venous access in the adult patient and administer an IV bolus of medication. You will be given a patient scenario and will be required to establish an IV and administer an IV bolus of medication just as you would in the field. You will have three attempts and six minute time limit to establish the IV. If you do not successfully establish the IV, you will not be able to administer the IV bolus of medication to the patient. Although we are using the mannequin arm, you should conduct yourself as if this were a real patient. You should assume that I am the actual patient and ask me any questions that you would normally ask a patient in this situation. After you establish the IV, you will have three minutes to begin IV administration of a bolus of medication. Do you have any questions? I do not. The patient you are treating is a 62-year-old hypoglycemic patient. His initial blood sugar is 32, and offline medical control indicates you should administer a bolus of D50. Do you have any questions? I do not. BSIP, my scene is safe. All right, I'm gonna place a catheter into this arm. Uh, I'm check my fluid. First, I'm gonna make sure I have the right fluid, uh, that my expiration, and my fluid's not expired, and the clarity of the fluid. Make sure it's nice and clear. Um, I'm also going to make sure I've got my drip set and the correct catheter and all the supplies that I need. Um, at this time, I'm going to take my bag, pull that, and I'm going to spike the bag. Make sure I get all the air out of my line. All the air is out. Excellent. I'm going to cut at this point, I'm going to cut some tape. All right, I want to select a vein, so I'm going to place a tourniquet in the arm. I got my tourniquet placed. Uh, I'm going to palpate a vein, find a correct site for catheter. All right, got a good vein there. Use a prep pad to clean the site. All right, got the site clean. I'm going to pick the correct size catheter. I have here. Take the cap off. Make sure it's loose. Cut the edge. Traction on my vein. One time. Make sure that I secure, keep secure hold of this. And this here, I'm gonna clue the vein. Keeping the site clean. Remove needle, place it into the 
sharps container and get the drip set secured on there. Once that's on, remove the tourniquet, keep that secured, and place my hang my drip set. Make sure that I'm going to flow just for a moment. Make sure I get proper flow. And bring it down to a TKO. And then get my this is directly out of the site. This tape secure the line. I'd ask the patient if they have any allergies. If they don't have any allergies, uh, at that time I would select the dextrose uh, 50% or D50. I'd grab the D50 and make sure that it is in fact uh, dextrose 50%. Uh, it's the right dose, um, right drug, right date. Um, the clarity is good on it. And it's not, there's no leaks or anything like that. Um, it, which is, that's all there, all good. I'm going to connect the plunger. At this time, I'd go ahead and expel any air that's in there. Okay, which I did. And, okay, uh, I assembled the syringe and I am gonna clean the port at this time. So I'll make sure that the port on here is nice and clean. Um, once again, I'm going to affirm that this is 50% uh, dextrose and I am going to stop the IV line for a moment. I'm going to connect dextrose to the line. Before I push, I'm going to include the line so I don't push any up into the uh, sailing bag. And at the time, I will slowly push dextrose okay push the dextrose this right here open the line back up with the saline run and I'm going to observe for any desired or undesired effects in my patient Thank you.